Welcome. Thank you for spending some of your time with us. My name is Tina Rosenquist and this is Knowledge for Wellness. And this show is to better inform you. Because when you know more, you are empowered to make better decisions for yourself and your loved ones for a better quality of life. And knowledge is power. And today we will be discussing complementary alternative holistic medicine working collaboratively with Western medicine. And some questions we will be asking are, why do people seek treatment? Or what uniqueness do you bring to your practice? And how does modern day stress fit into the paradigm of Chinese medicine? And we will be discussing these questions with Debbie, a holistic nurse and a licensed acupuncturist. Well, Debbie, Thank you so much for coming on Knowledge for Wellness. Good morning, Tina, and thank you for this opportunity. Well, this is great to educate my viewers on holistic medicine. Now, this is your first time on Knowledge for yes. Wellness. And so I'd really like for you to tell my viewers about yourself, your love, your passion, why you chose this particular line of work. My entire career has been in medicine, some form of medicine. I started out as a registered nurse, mm -hmm. specializing in psychiatric nursing. Okay. And that was at a time back in the mid-70s mid okay. when alternative care, complementary medicine, Chinese medicine was just starting to come into the awareness in mm -hmm. this country. Yes. And a lot of that had to do with President Nixon's trip to China. Mm. So we started seeing more mind-body medicine happening in this country and starting to be acknowledged. Being a psychiatric nurse, I already had one foot in that direction. Mm -hmm. And so it was very natural for me to just continue to pursue various ideas and um, types of medicine. And then I went back to school at the College of St. Catharines to get my bachelor's degree. And I got that in ethics and philosophy, which was great fun. Mm -hmm. um, wonderful experience going to St. Catharines. Of course, I didn't know what I would do with that degree and didn't particularly want to go back into medicine, although I thought that maybe in nursing I would probably do hospice nursing okay. if I went back to being a nurse. And then the opportunity came along for me to go to Chinese, uh, Chinese medical school, okay. which was a perfect fit for me. Mm -hmm. By that time in my life, I had been utilizing Chinese medicine for about 10 years as my primary form of health care. Mm -hmm. So it was very natural for me to just simply stu uh, study Chinese medicine. Okay. And that's what brings me here today. I've had my practice for 10 years. Oh, that's fabulous. So basically, I want to educate my viewers about what holistic and what that means. So, okay. Yes. Holistic medicine really is the foundation of nursing, uh, which nursing is very different. Uh, nurses training is very different than doctors in medical school okay. because nurses are, are fundamentally taught to see the patient as a whole person, mm -hmm. body, body, mind, spirit. Sure. And back in the days when I was a nurse, we gave people bed baths, mm -hmm. we gave them back rubs, we spent time with them, we spent time with their families. It was very holistic in that respect. Sure. So holistic nursing and holistic medicine simply means that while there may be, may be specialties, um, like cardiac care or psychiatric care, mm -hmm. it still involves more the whole person sure. and different aspects of that person's life and how that plays out either um, supporting their recovery or in some cases really challenging their recovery. Yes, wow. That sounds very beneficial for everyone involved. Yes. You know, looking at someone as a whole, mind, spirit, and body. And if they're having troubles in other areas, then you can also complement that with other issues. Correct. Yeah, that's great. So I want to talk a little bit about Chinese medicine as okay. well. So what constitute traditional Chinese medicine? Traditional Chinese medicine, and this is a great question, because most people, when they hear Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. they think acupuncture. Sure. And that's very natural because acupuncture is the most visible piece of Chinese medicine, and it's what President Nixon brought back oh, okay. from China, was the knowledge of acupuncture. But fundamentally, Chinese medicine is an integrated system of medicine, just mm -hmm. like allopathic medicine is, just like veterinary medicine is. And it encompasses um, diagnoses, its own particular form of diagnoses, what it looks at in illness and in wellness. And the primary modalities for Chinese medicine are acupuncture, okay. 
herbal medicine, mm -hmm. exercise, mm -hmm. lifestyle exercise, movement, um, dietary issues, nutrition, and then something called twina, which means literally translated push-pull. Mm -hmm. It's a form of medical massage. Oh, okay. There are some other um, techniques that are also used. Cupping is a form of um, a mechanical treatment that we do, primarily to loosen up stiff muscles, those kinds of things. And acupuncture can be done you, with needles. Mm -hmm. Acupuncture points can be stimulated with pressure, and we call that acupressure. Okay. They can be stimulated with hot, with cold and with electricity. Mm -hmm. So there's many, many techniques that we use in Chinese medicine. But fundamentally, Chinese medicine is about 5,000 years old clinically. Mm -hmm. It is the oldest clinically practiced medicine in the world. So it's been around a very, very long time. Mm -hmm.